welcome back to uh, my Weebly video tutorial series. This is part three. In part three, we're going to take a look at some really cool ways to change the actual layout and structure of each of your individual pages on your website. I think this is uh, one of the, the good features of Weebly. So uh, let's take a look how to do that. All right, so we're going to look over here at your elements. You're going to have to scroll down to structure. And we're going to take a look at adding columns today. Okay, so here we go. Just like your other elements, you're going to drag and drop and choose where to drop. I'll put one right here. Now what this does, it essentially kind of divides my page into, into two. So you can see now we've got two areas that I can uh, drag elements into. Um, and up here, when I hover the mouse over, I can uh, change that to three columns, four, or even five. Let's just go back to two for now and show you how that works. Okay, now I have some choices here. I can either take elements that already exist on my page, or I can uh, add new elements over here from my elements toolbar. Let's just take this picture I put in earlier. And I'm just going to put my mouse over the, the box here, and I'm going to drag this element. And now you can see when I hover over the different parts of my columns here, it's going to let me drop them into one or the other. So let me just drop that one there. And maybe we'll take this image and text element that I made earlier and put that up here into this part. I can adjust the size of each column by dragging here. Kind of get that looking exactly how I like it. Maybe this title should go at the top here. I can put that above there, or I can even add this inside my columns here, like so. So you can see it's a pretty powerful feature that allows you to kind of get the page looking exactly how you want it to look. And that's adding columns.